Some of you asked if these tricks are possible in stock mode. After I uploaded how to make a tailless aircraft, video which uploaded yesterday, curious myself, I decided to bring in a stock game. Of course, all graphics are also stock. The version is 1.12.3, same as previous video. And give it a go. First off, let's quickly create an aircraft. Among the shapes of aircraft I mentioned last time, the most important thing is the proper placement of center of mass and center of lift. Typically, it's good to have center of lift following behind center of mass. The closer the distance between center of mass and center of lift, the greater the aircraft's angle of attack can be. So, depending on how you position these two points in any aircraft, you can create drastic changes in angle of attack. However, it's not good design if center of lift surpasses center of mass. The aircraft will tilt upwards, making it extremely difficult to control. Therefore, in general design, it's preferable to place center of lift behind center of mass. Now, I'll keep the explanation brief and show you two methods from the last video that I used to create the aircraft. If you're curious about the explanations from the last video, please check the video above. In stock mode, there's an air brake option available as a spoiler, which I mistakenly mentioned last time that it appears only when FAR is installed. I was wrong. This option is included in the base game. Anyway, I placed one on each wing, and the engines were positioned as dual engines using the Panther engine. Are you ready, Jeb? Let's fly it. Oh, why is it flying so well? In stock mode, unlike FAR, spins don't occur easily, and it seems like stalling doesn't happen either. Well, that's good. If it flies well, that's what matters, right? Now, let's analyze this aircraft. First off, engine in dry conditions. The thrust weight ratio is over one. A high thrust weight ratio increases stability. As I mentioned last time, it's using dual engines, and they're three-dimensional vector engines. Actually, there are no two-dimensional engines in stock. Additionally, when the aircraft experience is shaking, though it's almost non-existent compared to FAR, the spoilers stabilize the aircraft. You can adjust the positions of center of mass and center of life to improve the maneuvering performance of the aircraft here. An interesting fact is that stock mode doesn't calculate lift based on the shape of the aircraft. If you want this feature, install FAR and download more pain. So, now go ahead and create and fly your own awesome designs in Kerbal Space Program stock mode. See you next time.